second step. Second step. Five. Uh, five. Arrow over to math. Five. Okay. Okay, so now, if you can re decipher the formula, which we all did, right? Like, you can look at that formula and know what those things are, right? You can do that again. Yeah. Okay, so you can decipher the formula. You can figure this out. If it's, only, if it's only eight data values like this, you don't necessarily have to do it all in your calculator. You really could do it by hand. I mean, obviously, it's going to take you a little longer, but it's not like there's 50 data values, right? So if you have to do one like that, you can. All right, now, I'm going to show you how to do it in the calculator. So, Wait, how do no, I... That's not how you do it in the calculator? No, that's, that's how you do it by hand. <laughs> what? We just did it by hand. That's a sham. That was, that was by hand. Oh, my God. Now I'm going to show you how to do it in your calculator. Okay. To do it in your calculator, you have to hit mode. What the heck? <laughs> and arrow down to the second page. This so class is a trip. All the way over to the second page. See where it says stat diagnostics? Yes. Turn it's those tough. on. Oh, yes. They're probably not on right now, and if you second plus seven one two, they won't be on. And you're going to forget to do this, and you're going to want to know why that number doesn't show up. So try to remember this conversation that we're having right now. You have to turn those stat diagnostics on for this to work. I'm going to leave a note for my Yeah, probably you should. All right, now we're going to go back to where our data is. Just hit stat, and we're just going to look at our data for a second. I really don't need list three, four, or five anymore. You can clear them if you want to, or you don't have to. It doesn't matter because we're going to tell our calculator which data we need. But for this particular thing with your calculator, all you need is the data list, list one and list two that we typed in a minute ago. So now we're going to hit stat, arrow over to calculations. Now, what kind of correlation are we trying to find? Linear. 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 So we're going to do a linear regression, just like we used to do in algebra, number four. And arrow down, make sure you've got list one and list two in your X, Y list, and arrow down to calculate. What? And Bro. that bottom number Bro. is your R value. Bro. I don't even have an R value. Because you didn't turn on your stat diagnostics. Go back to mode. Arrow to the second page. That's crazy. And turn on your stat diagnostics. Uh, I did turn it on. Does it say on? No, I turned on the wrong one. Mm. Feel that? But see, that's what I mean. That's what will happen, and you'll forget. And you'll be like, linear regression, you'll be like, there's no R value. Where's my R value? Because if you set it plus 712, it's going to turn them off. So... It'll just show you your regular linear regression, which is just A, B, and Y, Y, A, and B. Whoa. So there you go. So now you know how to do it by hand, and now you know how to do it in your calculator. We'll so let's go back now and look at the, um, the properties of the, now that you know and you see what a linear correlation coefficient is, let's go back and look at the properties of them. Your linear correlation coefficient is always between negative 1 and 1. If it's negative, that tells you that the line is falling. If it's positive, it tells you that the, the line is rising. Um, if R is closer to positive 1, then it has, that is evidence of a strong positive association. If it's close to negative 1, that's evidence of a strong negative correlation. The closer R is to 1, just the, the absolute value of the number. The closer it is to 1, the stronger the correlation. So 0.999 is an incredibly strong correlation. So is negative 0.999. As a matter of fact, they are equally as strong. It's just one is a rising line and one is a falling line. So the sign itself has nothing to do with the strength of the correlation. It only has to do with which direction the line is. Um, if R is close to zero, there is little or no evidence of a linear relationship between the two variables. That doesn't mean that there's not a relationship. It just means there's no linear relationship. And if you think about it for just a minute, think about the one that we were looking at a second ago that was a quadratic. If you put that in your calculator and you ask your calculator for a, for a, regress, a linear regression. It can't do that. Well, it's going to because it doesn't know any different. And it's not going to be zero because think about a quadratic. 
the first part is going to look like a rising linear part, and the last part is kind of going to look like a falling linear part. So it's not going to give you zero. It's going to give you a number. It's going to force itself to give you a number. It's just not going to be real close to one. Yes? So, like, this one that's point nine eight seven is going to be, like, a really close together yes. three lines. Yep. Like, this deal. Yep. But then if it's, like, really close to zero, it's going to be, like, one of these? Yep. Okay. Yep. All right, so let's look. So, so good. So, point nine eight seven. We saw what point nine eight seven looks like because we have it in our, um, we have it in there. That's that's a point nine eight seven correlation. Wow. That's almost perfectly straight. Yeah, I mean it's pretty it's pretty straight. We could easily take a ruler and draw a straight line and hit almost all of those dots because it's pretty it's pretty strongly correlated. So let's do this last example down here and let's see what our correlation is like for this one. So let's clear your lists. How do you clear the list? If you hit second plus four, you have to clear them all. Oh yeah, we talked about that. Or you can just arrow up to L1 and hit clear. But that just clears them one at a time, so. So we insert morality as our L1 and SO2 as our um. Oh yeah, I, I was I was just going to do that, but let's read it real quick and make sure because we want our um, we want our predictor variable as our x and our response for Oh yeah, I'm sure it is. But let's just make sure. Um, General Motors collected data on 60 US. Oh yeah. By the way, I'm saving you. There were really 60 data. <laughs> That's why all we have are the A's and the B's. I was like, I'm not putting in 60 pieces of data. Um, pendant variable is more mortality. Oh yeah. Sulfur dioxide pollution potential. All right, there you go. So, wow. What's going on in Baltimore? Okay. <laughs> but whatever it is, it's not happening in Bridgeport. All right, so our stat diagnostics are on still because we didn't do anything to turn them off. So you can just go straight to your linear regression. Um, I Well, let's do that first. Stat, calc, for, calculate. All right, so before I look at it, uh, I can tell from this information, 0.739, is that, could, would you say there is a linear correlation? Yes. 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 Is it a really strong one? Um, not, not really strong, strong. strong. Not real strong, but not as strong as the one we were yeah, just not, looking not at, really but it's not non-existent. We should be able to see it. Is it a rising, is it a positively associated linear or negatively associated? Positive. Positive, positive because it's positive 0.739. Okay, so now we can turn, your stat plots are already on, but you are going to have to zoom stat because it's different data values. If you don't, if you just hit graph, your screen is still going to be where it was before. So. Okay, amazing. Where do we have to go to zoom stat? Zoom is the top zoom? middle. Just hit zoom in nine. Okay, so there's a 70, basically 74% linear is what they're saying. All right. I, uh, I mean, I guess I could, I could draw a line of best fit kind of between there. And, and, and even though I'm not going to hit very much of the data, probably, like if I drew a line of best fit, like right through here, um, a lot of my data is equally distanced that that is something we'll talk about later. Um, but a lot of my data is equally distanced from the line, so so I would say it's linearly, positively linearly correlated, but not near as strong as the other one. So is everybody good? Yes. Easy enough? Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah, I'll turn it on. It's not on, but I will turn oh. it on right now. No, no, no. Do, do tomorrow. No, no, no. Oh, is that what we're doing tomorrow? Yes, that's what we're doing tomorrow. Is that? Wait, let me check. Yes, that's what we're doing tomorrow. Good. 
Do y'all, what do y'all think? Do y'all think we're going to have school next week? I mean, like, I mean, Tuesday? Next week? next week? I don't know. I'm hoping that we don't. Probably not Tuesday.